Mission Bay Park may look a little different in the near future. A new redevelopment plan is gaining some steam. And Fox 5's Jamie Chambers live for us this evening to show us what those changes could look like. Jamie. Hey guys, well, they're looking at a little bit for everybody, some golfers, some campers, but a lot for those environmentalists as they look to really restore wetlands that have been lost here for generations. It's been decades in the making as the Northeast Mission Bay area known as the De Anza Cove Redevelopment Project starts to take shape. One of the best places in the city of San Diego to get wetland restoration done for water quality improvement, for resilience to sea level rise, for habitat, and also improved access for humans. The newly released plans for the area are being celebrated as a victory for those trying to reduce carbon emissions and preparing for sea level rise. The latest iteration shows up ending the entire property, which is currently camp land, and turning it into marshland. Wetlands are one of the most effective ways to sequester the carbon in the atmosphere. That's pretty wonky, that. Uh, but it also accommodates sea level rise in the most effective way. Councilmember Joe LaCava says it's a rare thing to be able to help shape a significant piece of San Diego for generations to come. We have a lot of competing uses, but I think there's a way to both preserve the golf component, the little bit of athletic fields that we have in that corner, low cost you know, camping accommodations, and really maximize the amount of wetlands going out there. While campers, golfers, and environmentalists all have different priorities, they will all get their chance to weigh in on a final proposal as long as they lodge their ideas before April 20th. Everybody can and should make their comments known to the city. Push for whatever you want. We'll definitely be pushing for more wetland restoration and more habitat water quality improvement from tidal wetlands. Now, city officials, including Joe LaCava, say that they are really focused on the wetlands because they also come with federal and state funds that could help push this project along, and they hope to have it completed within 10 to 12 years. That's the very latest from Mission Bay. I'm Jamie Chambers. We'll send it back to you in the studio.